Hello, my friends. This is your girl, and I care. And if once again, you're welcome back to my channel. So, how are you guys are doing? Good. You are doing amazing because I am doing good. I'm doing amazing by the grace of God. Are you guys doing? You know, sometimes we wake up, we polish our face, we look good, and we come and sit in front of the camera. But ask yourself what goes on behind the creator's life. A lot goes on, but sometimes we refuse to share. But I feel like sometimes it is very good for us to share because our life is just like pages. Every day and eight pages. And every chapter comes with a different story. So today I want to share my story with you on how I survived COVID-19 with pneumonia. But first of all, I want to put this disclaimer down. Everything that I'm going to talk about or I'm going to share today is going to be based on my personal experience. So please, before you take any action based on anything I'm going to say here, please seek the doctor's advice before you do. Anyway, somewhere three weeks ago, I was having this feeling of chills, cold. I have um, sinus issue of which I, I can get like cold for continuously one month without going. I can get catar, runny nose and everything. So when I had that one, it was a bit of normal to me. So from there, I moved to cough. I moved to um, having um, consistent cold and chills that I will be so shivering and shaking to the extent that I will wear gloves, wear socks, wear a hat just to keep myself warm and all that. And I didn't know what was happening to me. My sister had traveled, although I live with other people in the house, but they are also busy living their normal life. So I was the only person, you know, in my room with my sister's children. They will go to school and they will come and all that. So for, for, for the first five days I was going through this hotness, cold, flu, catar and loss of breath and you know I was so weak I couldn't eat I had lost my appetite and unfortunately I thought it was malaria so I took coatem and coatem is a malaria drug which is very hard so when you take coatem you need to be eating but because i had lost my appetite i was in the house i was not eating i was weak i couldn't do anything there was practically nobody to take care of me i remember one time i went i picked my kettle to go and fetch water i was so weak that i couldn't even breathe well so when i picked the kettle to go and fetch water i fetched the water and i came back to my room and all of a sudden i i realized that kind of time has actually passed and I was on my bed so I realized that I had gone unconscious without anybody knowing and I was in my room alone and there was nobody particularly around me so after the five days that my sister came back I was still having the same feeling and then I told my sister that I want to go to the hospital because I can't really breathe well so when I went to the hospital and um, I told the doctor my problem, the symptoms and everything. But one funny thing is my doctor was not able to detect whether I had gotten corona. You don't know nothing, but I'm going to tell you something. Having the two jab, you can't get COVID-19, so you can decide not to wear your face mask or not. It's a lie. You can still get it. I got it, even with a jab. So you can also get it. My doctor said I should go for um, blood and urinal test and I want to do that so when I came back with a test he told me that I have an infection but he didn't tell me exactly what infection was and because I was having um, shortness of breath my my chest was hurting and all that we had to do a chest scan so when I went to the hospital for chest, chest okay holy spirit activate oh no holy oh. Spirit. The Die. chest scanned. I wasn't able to actually breathe in and breathe out. They were not patient with me. They, they were like kind of like on a rush. So, and I was so tired that if I breathe in, if I hold my breath for a second, I feel like I was dying. And I told them that I can't because when they say breathe in, I'm breathing out. When they say breathe out, I was also breathing in, okay? And then my doctor called me and she told me that this is what they are saying. They are not able to get proper scan for your chest so that we can see or know what is wrong with you. My doctor told me that if that is the case, then the only thing we can do 
is to do a CT scan of which the CT scan you will just go and lie down and then the machine will see your chest and everything with it. so I actually opted for the CT scan and the CT scan came out so when the CT scan came out my doctor observed it and then she said that my heart has become bigger than my chest and my lungs are blocked with some fluid so normally when you have the fluid in your lungs you have to go through maybe a minor surgery so that they can deflect all the um, tissue or the all the fluid from your chest because that is why because of the enlargement of my chest and then the lungs that has been blocked that is why I'm not able to breathe properly so at that very moment I was like oh my god what's happening to me what's going on? I was very scared so my doctor I went back to the my normal hospital and then that my doctor there communicated with my other doctor so now we are working with two doctors and that I should also do COVID-19 test and I am telling you that the two jab that you have taken doesn't warrant you of safety of coronavirus you can get coronavirus even if you have taken the two jab but possibly the rate at which you might go through infections and the struggles and the pain and then the higher rates you might go in will be a little bit lesser because I believe that if I have not taken the, the jab I'm sure by now I would have been a dead soul so I went back to the hospital and then the doctor said I should go for the coronavirus test I thought when you get the jab the two jab that's all like you won't get corona so corona hasn't actually occurred it hasn't even clicked my mind that I could get corona I went for the COVID test and then I was even playing with the, the people at the lab that I don't have corona so if they test and I, I come out negative I will, they will pay back my money for me and that was like seriously so it came out and it was positive and I was like what you don't know, you don't know because why going my up. sister was very my sister was one of the frontliners when corona was very rampant and she was going up and down and you know nothing I nobody got corona um my my former office they were very conscious about people about our health and there was a bell that can practically ring for you to sanitize yourself and all that but i think when i came home and i was marketing some product it was through that i got the corona from there so i had to go through that so that was when i was told that i had fluid in my chest in my lungs my heart has enlarged and i have corona and at that very moment my chest my I, I couldn't breathe properly so my doctor opted me to be on oxygen to be taken to the um, the quarantine center so I was given a letter to go there and when I went I met the doctor I really want to appreciate that doctor he advised me gave me some um, tests to do and some medication to be on and then I was he actually asked me to come back home and come and quarantine myself in the house so I came to the house and then I went to do all the tests and the pain that I went through but fortunately for me they gave me a medicine that would drain all the, the fluid in my chest so i came back home and i was taking the medications and everything it's not corona is not something that you even wish for your enemy to even get when you experience it yourself and you know when you get coronavirus if you have underlying issue it becomes very risky so at this very moment i am being monitored by my my sister who is a pharmacist one physician and then covid 19 doctor so these two people in conjunction with the person who took care of my sex can and so all these people were on me they were checking up on me and everything that how I'm feeling and everything they were on me communicating and all that and then I was going by the precautions that I, I, I was giving and to God be the glory after two weeks 
I went back to the hospital and then I checked again and I came out negative. Corona, not necessarily because they are dying out of Corona or the underlying sickness, but probably it's because of loneliness, it's because of the mental strain, the mental agony they go through. Because when you go through this, the only thing that you that comes into your mind is you are going to die. Like so when you are sleeping you are like god am i going to die especially when you had underlining factors like mine when i recovered from corona i realized that people are taking this whole sickness for granted because they have not really experienced somebody who had gotten it or somebody who had gone through corona with underlining factors like mine because i i already had upper respiratory problems that i was having cold and catai and all those things before having pneumonia then having corona so it was just worse so for me to be with all this three and still being alive it means that it was just by the grace of god so i will advise you that don't take it for granted wear your marks use your hand sanitizer everywhere you go and make sure that you are protecting yourself i also want you to know that sometimes it is not about what you're drinking or what you're eating if you get corona unconsciously you somebody you might just open the door and that's it somebody might just talk to you and that's it you understand so there's a lot of ways that you might unconsciously get corona and it can surprise you so don't take it for granted so this is something that i really just wanted to talk to you guys about and i hope that you take this coronavirus seriously i thank god for giving me a second chance and i just wanted to share my story with you so i am a pneumonia sinus covid 19 survivor this is my story you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel and if there is anything you want to know or any question you want to ask me about sinus pneumonia and then having a COVID-19 at the same time please comment down below and let me know what your question is and I'll definitely do a video for you guys explaining or answering all the questions that you guys have so until then see you and bye whenever your heart is broken don't ever forget Yep. Everybody, my and poppy came to party Grab somebody, work your body, work your body Let me see you one, two, step Now let me do my one two step